Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be starting with the data link layer of the TCP OSI model and we will be studying what is it and what are its core functionalities. Okay, so data link layer is the layer that lies above the physical layer in the TCP IP model or the OSI reference model. Okay, now in the data link layer, the basic unit of information is a frame, whereas in the physical layer, the basic unit of information that was transmitted was a bit. So this is one of the major differences that you have to remember. And when we go above the data link layer, the unit of information will become a packet. So the data link layer takes a packet from the network layer on the sender side and it transmits it to the receiver side through the physical layer and it gives to the network layer on the receiver side okay now there are three important functions that are performed by a data link layer so the first function is that it provides an interface to the network layer so whenever we talk about interface any lower level layer will provide an interface to the higher level layer okay so data link layer will provide an interface to the network layer and the network layer need not worry about how data from the sender side will reach the receiver side network layer all this will be taken care of the data taken care by the data link layer other two important functionalities that are taken care by the DLL or the data link layer are error control and the third one is flow control. Now what do we mean by both these terms? So error control basically refers to the detection and correction of errors. Okay. So errors might occur while transmitting data and information through the channel and through different layers so detection and correction of transmitted errors is what is referred to as error control in data link layer okay correction of errors now some uh, layers or some in some cases data link layer may only provide detection capability and in some cases, it may provide both detection as well as correction capability of the errors. Okay. Now, errors are that are uh, committed during transmission. So, say the sender sent a particular information or a particular bit pattern, but the receiver did not receive that particular exact same pattern. So, we say an error has occurred during transmission. Okay. Now, the third most important function of the data link layer is flow control. Now, flow control refers to the mismatch in the speed of the sender and the receiver. So, the data link layer is responsible to make sure that the speed at which the sender is sending data, the receiver is also capable of receiving data at the same speed. Okay, so it handles flow control handles any mismatch in the speed of data transmission okay now generally the sender sending data at a faster rate because it has a better hardware is a bigger problem because if the sender is sending slowly and the receiver is receiving or is capable of receiving at a higher pace then we do not have a problem the receiver might sit idle for a while that is another issue but here the receiver will not be overwhelmed or it will not lose any kind of data but if the sender is sending at a higher pace than the receiver is capable of accepting the data then the receiver might lose some data because it is not able to process the data at the same speed that is being sent by the sender so in that case flow control becomes very important so flow control error control are two major functionalities that data link layer takes care of and it ensures that all these things are hidden from the network layer by providing a good interface to it now uh, you must understand that when I say that data link layer uh, 
works with frames rather than bits then what actually happens is see if we have a sending machine which is acting as a sender then at the network layer the sending machine will generate a packet because as i told you at the network layer the unit of transmission is a packet okay now at the sending machine the network layer will give this packet to the data link layer okay now what will the data link layer do with this packet it will create a frame using this packet now the frame will consist of a header part it will consist of a payload field and it will consist of a trailer part okay so this entire thing is a frame which has been created by the data link layer using this particular packet so the packet which was sent by the network layer to the data link layer at the sending machine is this packet is directly put in the payload section of the frame and along with this section the header is added and the trailer is added now the data link layer at this sending machine sends this frame to the physical layer the physical layer transmits this frame the information in this frame in the form of bits to the receiving machine or the receiver now again at the receiver the same frame is received if there is no error okay so we, uh, right now we are assuming that no error has happened so the frame that was sent by the sending machine has been received by the receiving machine and now the data link layer at the receiving machine will send only the payload part of this frame to the network layer okay so the network layer need not worry about how the packet that it sent on the sending side will reach the receiving side so the data link layer takes care that no extra information contained in the header and trailer reaches the network layer only the packet which was originally sent by the network layer at the sender reaches the network layer at the receiver okay so this was all about the functionality of the data link layer the data link layer at the sender creates a frame which is then transmitted to the receiving side this is also the same frame and from this frame only the packet section is sent to the higher layer which is the network layer so in the next video we will be studying about the three types of services that are offered by the data link layer so stay tuned to this playlist thank you for watching please let us know how did you find this video and what other topics you would like to study thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam